The following is a non-profit Let's Play. Even though it does comprise of music owned by artists and all of its intellectual properties, this is a fair use. Although AdRev and Vivo will not try to abide by this. They'll put ads on the video or block it. If this video is not blocked, make sure that they don't get the satisfaction of having ads by using ad blocker on every single part. Thank you. Welcome to part 10 of Saints Row the Third. This is actually the last of Pyrrhus' trafficking. We just got finished doing that. No one off screen, I managed to get a 10% cash bonus. No, actually no, last part I got a 10% cash bonus. I had the respect bonus off screen. So with that said, we're gonna have to change our outfit again because for the next part, we're going to be going a little bit undercover. Yeah, I kind of beat up a Morningstar thug and took her clothes. And now I'm going in to try to mingle with other Morningstar uh, members. Yes, mingle with a sniper rifle. Aim at their heads like a boss. I love meeting new people. Okay, um, we found ourselves in other gang territory. So this is practically what I have been doing. And we still got more gang territories to find. There's 32 of them in all, and I think I've only found 11 of them. So, yeah, bear that in mind. Hold on, there's still... Oh, crap. Someone's shooting at me from behind. I better, I better try to uh, get out of the way. And I ran out of sniper rifle bullets. God damn it. Hey, for the most part, I've got 20% um, bullet protection. That's not going to stop the snipers, though. Okay, that guy's hanging off of a cliff. Let's get out of the way. Because that sniper is going to constantly hound me until I actually kill him. Alright, let's just get to where I can reach him. You die. Last any longer than that. And finally, you die too. Hey, 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 get over here, chump. Come back here. There, much better. That takes care of that one. Well, that makes number nine, so yeah. Again, I said I only found 11 of them so far. Well, actually, no, I found 14, 15 of them, but I've only done technically 11 of them. I'll show off one next part, but I'm do but I've done two in this part. So at that moment we're going to go on ahead and deal with Trojan Horse, which is the whole reason why I'm dressed up as a Morning Star goon. Because they're going to probably dress up as prostitutes to screw with us. Get you get the reference Trojan Horse. Ah. Uh, but yeah. This is actually the last Morning Star mission for Pierce and Shawnee until, well, those guys show up. Then it's basically Zemos for the time being. Shawnee's dead and you're throwing a fucking party? Well, when you say it like that, sure it sound bad. I was saddled up in a human pony show. Will you see me crying about a little girl? I swear to God, I will shove that thing down your throat hole. Whoa, Shandy. We can't mourn Gat forever. Eventually, you gotta get back on the horse. No offense, brother. He's right. Whatever. <gasps> Damn, girl! Life is for the living and shit! You know what I'm saying? It's so pretty, it's silly. All over the street, then, yeah, I get busy. On the dance floor, I'm too witty. Get close, get low, yeah, get busy. I'm ready to the brakes. Grind, get low, get low. Move side to side. I'm ready to the brakes. Grind, get low, get low. What's up, girl? Move side to side. Grind, get low, get low. Move side to side. I'm ready to the brakes. Grind, get low, get low. Move side to side. Oh shit! These holes ain't holes! 
Pierce, you done fucked up. Zemos, you done fucked up. And now we're gonna have to clean this fuck up. Because, let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, hiring a bunch of strippers and you don't even know where the location is is a stupid thing. Because you never know, they may try to rob you or, in this case, kill you. And now you see why I'm dressed up as a morning star. By the way, the uh, outfit that I have is from uh, Leather and Lace, which is in the territory that Zemos is residing over. Sort of. Well, sort of residing over. I mean, we haven't actually completely captured it just yet. We haven't gotten that part, folks. We haven't gotten that part. Well, we are, however, going to be killing off as much of these Morning Star thugs as humanly. Oh, God damn it! Stop pistol whipping me! There! How do you like being pistol whipped? It doesn't feel too good, now, does it? So we just have to make sure that our teammates do not suffer a very horrible fate. And, oh god, our teammate has suffered a very horrible fate. Something tells me I should have actually focused on the revive time and the HP of the characters. Because 30 seconds is a really short time. However, thank god he's actually within reach. Because there was one time, a helicopter went there and killed Zemos and shot him dead off the roof. I couldn't heal him. Oh, and funny thing is, if you happen to have, like, um, certain strippers as a part of your click, or, like, uh, the customization of your game, um, they could actually, you can actually tell the difference between the enemy strippers and your strippers, because they're going to be the ones that are in purple, even though some of these enemy strippers are in purple. But yeah, as I was saying, um, Zemo's falling off of the cliff. Kind of a messed up thing. Prevented me from healing him, you know? But there is something we can do to prevent any more trouble, like... Use an extremely awesome move to kill off the strippers that happen to be in my way. We're gonna take the sniper rifle and we're gonna regulate. Or at least have infinite sniper rifle ammo for the time being. And first things first. You want to try to kill this one here. And then you can reach the vantage point on the roof. I'm trying to actually reach that vantage point and not worry about being shot at the same time because trust me folks, despite having 20% bullet reduction, the Sniper rifle bullets still hurt, and being bombarded by sniper rifle bullets is not cool. In fact, it's painful and can probably lead to an instant kill. If you have five or six people shooting at you at the same time. Alright, now the sniper. Since I already got rid of the low one, you probably only have about five to deal with. Because you have six in all. Now then, I'm going to try to... I was trying to take cover, but unfortunately, I got electrocuted. So, let's kill this sniper here. No problem. Ironically enough, they're not, uh... Morningstar specialists, so... Oh wait, no, I thought there was six. There's actually seven of them. Never mind. Huh, go figure. I said, unfortunately, they're not Morningstar specialists, so no, you don't get a specialist kill for it. However, you are going to have some sort of annoyance because, again, 20% bullets actually help, but getting shot will throw off your aim. And if you're not careful, get shot enough, you're going to die. Oh, and make sure you check your cash register. Oh, God damn it, you stupid sniper. Oh, I was checking also my um, time to see if I have any money left. I mean, time left, sorry. Not money. I mean, I barely have any money left until after I finish this mission, but I was checking to see if I had any more time. Oh, God damn it, I missed this damn uh, stripper. And there it is. There. She's done. Now let's go to the maintenance room because they turned off the lights before the strippers came in. And kill off any strippers that stand in your way. Because after all, the more strippers you kill, the higher the notoriety goes. However, 
eventually the Noriety, the Noriety will come to five and the helicopters will come in. But that's all right. At least we don't have to worry about brutes. Thank the Lord. And I saved to just in case we go into a cutscene because let's face it, folks, the moment that I destroy these helicopters, we're going to go into a cutscene. So, as soon as you get the anti aircraft uh, launcher, which, by the way, is just level one, I mean, it'll still one hit kill those helicopters if you aim it just right, but it is level one nonetheless. Once we get our hands on this, and we just make sure that we don't get in the path of the explosion, because I don't have uh, any damage reduction for explosions, because one hit from those missiles, oh god, it's going to hurt. Um, we are going to, however, take our time to use the open doors as cover, and don't worry about fighting the helicopters, they'll come to you. And make sure your homies are not in the way either. That that would be a very good thing to say. Because the homies are going to try to be in your way while you're shooting down the helicopters. By the way, this is the last one. Wait, nope, we got one more left. So it'll be coming our way and then we'll just blast it out of the sky. Not too bad, it's not that hard of a mission. And besides, you could still kill off some more Morningstar for respect. I mean, there will call in reinforcements, but hey, as long as the helicopters are still around, you could just kill off Morningstar for, re for respect and money, after all. And with that said, that's the end of the Morningstar. Hooker assassins? They came highly recommended. <laughs> Ladies. It was a pretty shit plan. Tell me something, Matt. Did you have a plan? How about you, Eddie? There's a reason Philippe left the thinking to us. We're done here. That's a bitch! Kill Bane! Relax. You only need one of them. Viola, your sun is setting. But it's not too late. There's still time to grab Apollo's chariot and drive that fucker back across the sky. You feel me? Yes, Kilby. Ah, apology accepted. Hey, I'll come you a VIP faster murder brawl. That'll cheer you up. Well, initially, Kiki and Viola were supposed to betray the Syndicate and both join forces with the Saints. However, change of plans in the writing script. These are the same guys who, by the way, thought killing Gat was a good idea for shock value. Viola is by herself and now has every right to leave the Morningstar, let alone the Syndicate, which pretty much marked the end of the Morningstar right there. All that's left for me to do is now take their territories, and speaking of which, we now have a helicopter thanks to the mission we just did, which is all the more reason why I did it. So uh, with this mission done, we now have a vulture at our disposal, and this vulture, by the way, there's a Saints version of it, will be used in Heli Assault, which I'll sadly have to show off with Kenzie Kensington, but we are going to be going over to the last gang operation that I'm going to be showing off in this part to blast it to smithereens. It's best you use a helicopter for this one because, yeah, using, well, actually you can use a helicopter or some of the later vehicles you'll be getting that'll be uh, for the Saints. But at this point in time, a helicopter is much more of an appropriate weapon than an airplane because, let's face it folks, they do not have fighter jets in Saints Row. Well, at least not yet. And not the type of fighter jets that the military, the regular military has. Oh no. Um, we'll, there'll come a point where we're going to end up having to deal with uh, military-esque 
enemies. I'm pretty sure everyone know who I'm talking about. But we'll come to that point when we get there. But for right now, I'm trying to position myself so I can lower down onto that gang hideout, which just so happens to be on the roof. And, and this, this is what the game developers expect you to do, to have a helicopter or a different vehicle that can hover over the area to shoot down the enemies. Hell, if you have two players, that would make this a hell of a lot easier with one steering the helicopter and one shooting out of the helicopter. And this is the place we need to be at. And I accidentally crashed the helicopter, which is why I paused and restarted. So, yeah. This building right here with the umbrella and all of the um, hinges and the air conditioner, this is where the Morning Stars gang operation is. It's a really tall building, which is why I couldn't hit it with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Reaper drones. So, yeah, I managed to take down that um, gang operation there. And I'll see you guys next time as I'm going to use this vulture to probably take down another uh, gang operation, but not to mention we'll actually work on one of the Zemos missions that is available in the next episode. See you guys then.